Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, this is Anisha and I will be talking about the Kelly, a cognitive chatbot which makes our insurances easier using Watson Assistant and WhatsApp. In this video, I will introduce you to learn about Watson Assistant and explain the advantages of using Kelly, followed by the live demonstration of Kelly, and then I will give you a detailed architectural flow along with all the technology stacks that involved for building the Kelly. IBM Watson Assistant enables you to build chatbots which allows you to develop human-like interfaces for your application. A user can initiate a request to chatbot by asking for something. We have a major component in the Watson Assistant are intents, entities, and dialogue. Using these components, we can train your chatbot. Intents are mainly categorizes the user expression in different ways. It recognizes the input based on user purpose, like asking for some, ordering a pizza or resetting a password. The Watson Assistant can choose a dialog flow to respond. Entities will handle the significant uh, parts of an input that alters the way it responds to the intent. Dialog uses the intents and entities that have been identified in the use of the input along with the context of an application and also it provides a response to the user's request. We also have a predefined index which is provided by Watson Assistant in the content catalog. We can interact with this chatbot by integrating it with existing messaging apps like Slack, Facebook and other web applications. Usually, users will prefer to use mobile applications to ensure their courses. Here, Kelly will help you to know about the policies and claims and their statuses. By using the Kelly, we are getting the insurance code for the desired insurances. We can also renew your existing and expired policies by requesting Kelly to do that. We can know about legal documents and financial deductibles, which are there for the insurance company will have already. Kelly tells you about the insurance product and engage the users to serve better and reduce the time which is used to know all the insurances and insurance agents for this uh, for an insurance company. Now I will show you a live demonstration of Kelly, the insurance chatbot to WhatsApp, which built with IBM Watson Assistant and Node.js. Here you go. Let's greet Kelly with initial message as hello. The bot will respond like, hello Anusha, I'm Kelly, the insurance bot, and uh, it asks me for how can I help you today. And if you're new to this bot and want to know about what things it can do, then we will ask for what sort of things can you do. The bot will assist you to know the status of policies and claims and finding an agent that are nearby and they're followed by the insurance code for automotives and homes. And also, we can renew your existing policies and the finally basic questions related to the insurance documents. Now, I will ask for the claim status like, what happened to my client? We added OTP functionality to verify the user and I got the verification message to the mobile and I gave it 1205 is the verification code. Now, I have two claims based on my registered mobile number. I selected the first one and just providing that. And the bot checks my status of my client, and it it's showing that I can it can see that my status is in active, and and along with the date uh, which, uh, when it is uh, turned into the active state. And now I will check for the policy status.
I have found three registered uh, three policy numbers for the my registered mobile numbers, and to know the status, I can give any of these uh, policy numbers. I am going with the first one. And the status of my policy is in active, and it is going to expire on 17th April 2019. And it is asking for my confirmation, uh, like uh, I am uh, willing to renew it or not. And yes, I am want to renew it, my policy. And it is asking for how many years I would like to renew it. And I'm planning, I'm planning to take first two years. Yeah, here are my policy details along uh, for the vehicle, I, along with the vehicle identification number and the policy number and policy type and the amount I need to pay for the two years and the monthly payable. And it is asking for my confirmation to renew it uh, finally. Yes, I will. And the, my policy has been renewed and the new policy details were sent to my registered email and the next one I want to find at that uh, agents that are around in a particular location and for that I want to find an agent nearby And now it is asking for a zip code. For now, I am providing the invalid zip code. Good. The bot will find whether the zip code is valid or not. And now I am providing the correct zip code. And it is uh, checking for uh, uh, confirmation like whether I am looking for this particular location or not based on the uh, zip code which I, I was provided. And I am providing S. Yeah, we have two agents that, that are near to the provided location. Now I would like to get an insurance quote. And looking, looking for. insurance quote. It is asking for a zip code again. And it is asking for my confirmation for a particular location. Yes, I am. And it is asking for uh, what, what type of insurance I would like to take. Uh, I choose car insurance, which is under automotive. And it is asking for the policy period for two years and it is asking for the VIN number and I'm just providing
based on the provided win number it retrieving all the details and also uh, it providing the all details uh, for the con for my confirmation mm, providing the confirmation like us the code will be generated and it is sent to the registered email id and the next one i will ask for the documents which are re uh, really required for the policy here are the uh, documents which are near needed for the policy what and i'm asking for what are the uh, documents which are required when user fi uh, filing a claim and these are the documents like a uh, duly signed claim form and the damaged vehicle picture and the driving license copy and these are the documents are required uh, when the user want to file a claim also we can ask kelly to download the policy details as well and again it is asking for otp to verify me and i just provided the otp and here uh, it can find the three policy numbers and going with this number yeah here are the policy details based on provided policy number and also the down documents has been sent to my registered uh, register email id now you can see the architecture of kelly when user want to make a request to kelly then user will provide the input in whatsapp the user text initially will send to twilio which provides the whatsapp sandbox it helps to send messages to and fro Using the endpoint, the user's input will send to the Node.js application middleware, where we can interact Watson Assistant with it. And Watson Assistant categorizes the user's request along with the context. It provides the response back to the Node.js from the Twilio to WhatsApp. We can retrieve the policy numbers and the policy status from Cloudin and send back on the same way to WhatsApp. all leads will be created in the salesforce using the rest api in the node js to follow up the users after requesting insurance codes and the overall application is hosted in the cloud platform called ibm bluemix here is the technology stack that was used to build our application nexmo nexmo is an api platform which enables developers and business to rapidly choose a way to communicate with the customers by providing a voice and sms services using it and after that node.js node.js is the most sought after backend scripting languages for easily building fast and scalable network applications mainly it is an open source service environment next twilio Twilio is a cloud communication platform service which allows developers to programmatically make and receive phone calls. Here it is also provides the WhatsApp integration for our custom applications. Cloudint. Cloudint is a NoSQL and non-relational distributed databases which is stored in the JSON format. And here we can cloud we use Cloudint to store the policies and claim numbers. and the status along with the registered user details finally ibm bluemix ibm bluemix is a cloud platform as a service deployed by ibm here we can run and deploy our own applications we also have a watson services that are provided as a service in the bluemix where we can make use of those services to build our applications thank you
Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.